welcome back YouTubers I'm Proto Mario and today's video is gonna be a Battlefield 4 tip video now I know what y'all thinking Proto you hate Battlefield 4 you don't like Battlefield at all and you'd be correct in saying that I don't overly enjoy it by far Battlefield is my least enjoyable franchise but the way Ghost is working and how Halo 4 is basically dropped off the map I'm left with little to go to honestly yeah I'm a diehard Halo fan and yes I do enjoy Call of Duty but unfortunately I didn't purchase Call of Duty and so I will wait for a sale so until then Please learn from my mistakes. So if you're new to Battlefield, or Battlefield 4, or Battlefield 3, Battlefield 3 and 4 are very similar. So <clears throat> listen to a guy who knows what he's talking about, because he's made the mistakes that many people have made. So firstly, I want to address the fact that you need to play the right game type. Let me just be frank when I say, when I play Team Deathmatch, I do 10 times better than I, when I do Conquest. There's nothing wrong with Conquest, it's just the fact that I can get a kill a lot easier in a tight, small, quartered place than I can in a huge Conquest map. Which leads me to my next point. When you're playing larger maps, make sure you get into a vehicle that you can actually operate. Hello, if you can't fly a helicopter, why are you hopping in it? You are allowed to go to a training server, or Battlefield 4 has a training place that you can go to to learn how to operate these things. So stay out of them if you suck. And hey, if you suck at a helicopter, I really don't think you're going to do much better in a jet. But, you know, I might be wrong. But, let's just be real here. If you don't know how to operate vehicles, there's nothing wrong with staying out of them. And of course, you could just spawn in on a teammate who's operating them. So that's also a better idea and a more viable option than using them yourself. The next point I would like to make is that you need to really play the objective. And I'm not talking about just purely capturing, running blindly at the enemy and spraying, or doing whatever the objective is currently asking you to do. I mean, if you are an assault person and you are using the combat medic setup, that would be using the medical items to heal your person. You don't necessarily need to revive people. But, if you do that, make sure to drop your med pack all the time and often so that people can actually heal. You could probably get more points off healing than you could actual kills if you're playing in a large game like Conquest or a real tight quartered area like Team Deathmatch. Of course, I can only speak to these because these are my more uh, experienced areas. So... Speaking on classes, make sure you get the class that you like the most also. Look, if you suck at shooting like I do, I'm really, really bad at aiming on that game, I would strongly suggest you get a class where you can shoot people up close and personal. You know, I've taken someone out with a pistol from across the street, there's no questioning that, but that's not how I get all my kills. That's probably happened 1% of the time, and it's not a very viable option for a person who's playing the game. Also, Battlefield 4, unlike Halo 4 and Call of Duty Ghosts, has extremely destructible environments, which means that you can pop out a grenade or a grenade launcher or a rocket launcher, and hey, if an enemy's hiding behind cover, blow the fucking cover up. It's not that hard, but a lot of people forget that, and they want to just train their sights when the enemy pops out. Well, that might be a good idea, the enemy could surprise you and pop out somewhere else, which, again, is probably not the best idea. Also, covering your teammates is probably a good idea, too. If you don't know the maps, and you don't know what the F you're doing, hanging around a guy who kind of looks like he knows what he's doing, or is somewhat not as retarded as you, is also probably a better idea. And please don't take it personally when I'm saying any of these things. If it doesn't apply to you, let it roll off your shoulders. I'm just trying to help people that are new out there. Because... I'm not the best Battlefield 4 player, but I know when I play a lot of game types that I'm good at, I go positive, and I get a lot of points, and I come in third or second or first place very often. 
basically because I'm helping my teammates so much and I'm running around the field making sure everyone is stocked up on their health. I don't generally like playing the engineer or resupplying people with ammo, but I rarely run into a match where there is actually a supply guy dropping ammo crates, which is also a very good idea if you're new to the game. Also get used to a weapon you like, as in an assault rifle, a shotgun, or a miniature submachine gun. While I would not highly recommend a shotgun or a submachine gun, there are very good ones out there if that's definitely your thing. And if that's not your thing, then you probably won't want to use a pistol either. But a pistol comes with most classes, so that's also something that you can use if you so desire it. Get used to a gun that you like a lot. Check out videos of people using certain guns and what they say about the guns. If you're bad at aiming and recoil really tears you up, it's probably not a good idea to get a gun that recoils up a lot. More or less, as you progressively use the gun, you can unlock things through battle packs, through your experience, and through kills that will genuinely allow you to put on things that will help you a lot. A scope, a silencer, something that might stop you from jumping like a muzzle brake or heavy barrel. And these things can help you to get kills and customize your weapon. Of course, camouflage doesn't do anything, so I wouldn't really worry about that until you're past level 10. Customizing your character is an important part, but you really do need to keep the guns down and get your gunplay in order. Remember, you don't have to drop shot or hop around, but at the first sign of danger, if you're getting bullets shot at you, you should probably get the F out of the way. And finally, my biggest tip is don't run into the center of the map. That is a death sentence. If you can't find anyone, you can always do that, but you're most assuredly going to die. Someone is going to see you and pop you off, whether it be a sniper or just someone else running in the center of the map. Let the other retards do that. There's tons of people who play in guest slots, who just play the game for fun, and they run right into the center of the map. You can pick them off. It's easy. But remember to stay at a range where you can actually kill them, because if you wound them and they run away and they don't die, you don't get an assist, you don't get anything. You just wasted your bullets and revealed your location. So I hope these tips helped you out while you're playing Battlefield 4, 3, or whatever. They're fairly useful in many other games too. Well, at least the games that they apply to. I'm Protomari and I'm signing out. And I hope my first person shooter expertise has hooked you up and allowed you to get 100 kills every game. Thanks for watching, guys, and if you have something to contribute to this topic or a tip you'd like to share, it doesn't have to be about Battlefield 4, please leave it in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed that video guys, and now time for a service announcement from the Maverick Army. Tired of the norm? Is it time for a revolution? Join the rebellion and become a Maverick today by subscribing to Proto Mario. Remember, together we can create a new world order of gaming. Mavericks Unite.